addition to the crew and my man, Captain Eric. Teachers, you looking good? How about the bow tie on Mr. Matagosi today? Oh, man, he looks good and he should because we got a lot of the line. Today, it's the students and it's our teachers. Look at that bow. I can't get enough of that bow tie, Mr. Nagosi. Hey, they're from Global Leadership Academy Southwest in West Philadelphia. They're officially in the classroom. I'm so excited for them to be here because these students right here are about to go head-to-head -head with their favorite teachers. And Philly, they showed up in a busload to support these guys. It was unbelievable. But what's on the line? It's 500 big ones. That's right. Someone's walking away. Pretty, pretty good money in their pocket. But let's be honest. They want those bragging rights. Will they get them? I'm jumping into Pop Quiz to find out. <laughs> Pop Quiz time. Here we go, teams. Grab your buzzers. We have 90 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can in those 90 seconds. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, contestant from the other side is going to be able to jump in while your team is locked out and seal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. Here we go, guys. Good luck. What black and white striped animals are related to horses and are native to Africa? Team Captain Eric. Zebra is right. Good job, buddy. Shay Mitchell plays the character of Emily Fields on what TV show? Shay Mitchell. Miss Shay Mitchell. That's pretty little liars, guys. What is four multiplied by four? Eric. Eight. Oh, ooh. Ooh, man. Teach for the steal. Miss Williams. 16. Oh, Eric wanted that one back. <laughs> In the NFL, the Buccaneers represent what area of Florida? Here we go, Mr. Ngozi. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is right. Thanks for D-Jack, by the way. What type of mythical creature is the mascot for the cereal Lucky Charms? Mr. Ngozi again. Uh, leprechaun. Leprechaun is right. What extinct species of human is the closest rel relative to modern humans and often referred to as cavemen? Mr. Ngozi again. Monkey. Students for the steal? One second. Nobody? Neanderthals was it. That was it. Neanderthals. In the United States, the letter BLVD can be seen on street signs as an abbreviation for what? Miss Williams. Boulevard. Boulevard is right. Here we go, guys. Extra credit. Students, you can climb right back into this thing. Let's do it. A science fair is an important part of what movie featuring Wilbur, Lewis, and Bowler Hat Guy? One second on the clock. Miss Williams? Revenge of the Nerds. That's not going to do it. Students for the steal, you want to take a guess? Free guess here. Buzz in if you know. <laughs> nope, looking for Meet the Robinsons, and it's not going to get it done. Bowler hat guy. Eric's like, I knew that now. All right, guys, 40 points for the teachers after pop quiz, 10 points for our students. 10, you got a lot. You got on the board, Eric. That's good news. If you, uh, you win this thing, you get back in this thing here, 30 points away. $500 is your choice on where it's going to go. What are we going to do with it? Um, it's going to go to eighth grade activities and trips. Nice. Anywhere in particular you want to go? Um, mainly the global excursions, but side trips is too. Far. I mean, your Global Leadership Academy, guys, they go all over the world with some stuff. So it's a cool place to go to school. Mr. Oshobo, good to see you as well. 500 you, for you guys if you win. It. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Where are you guys going to put that money? We're also going to use it toward global excursions. I mean, why not? You guys are going Absolutely. to China. You're going yes. everywhere, all over the world. Let's go. That's a plane ticket for somebody. All right, look, someone's going to win the cash, but someone's going to enter detention, and we're going to find out who right now. Here we go. I love the way, I mean, Eric, you just keep smiling at me like that the rest of the game. He just gave me the, I'm ready to do this look. So let's get into it. Detention works just like this, guys. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. It's your choice. Whether you want to play or pass, you'll have 10 seconds to decide while you do that. If you want to play, you get it correct. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, Logan, look out, because you could be going to detention yourself. You ever get one before, Logan? Uh -huh. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I've gotten a few. <laughs> She's honest. That's good. Look, if you pass it, they have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. You get everyone in detention, 40 points. Let's play this one. Students, category is yours. Notable people. Notable, Notable people. People you may know. Do you want to pass or play? Pass. I don't want to do that, no. I hear Logan Eric. Need an answer? Pass. Uh-huh. Pass. pass. We're going to pass on the last bit there. What is the name of the 19th century American folk hero known in popular culture as King of the Wild Frontier, who was killed at the Battle of the Alamo? You guys can talk about it. 
1970. One second on the clock, guys. Here comes that bell. We need the answer. Uh, oh, not gonna do it. How about that pass from my students over here? The answer, Davy Crockett, everybody. David Crockett is the answer there. So uh, no points awarded because, guys, you don't need any points. You got to send your teachers to detention. Who's it gonna be? Ms. Oshobo. Ms. Oshobo, all right. She's out of the game first, team captain. <laughs> I've never seen a happier set of kids to be like, oh, Shobo, you're going to detention. <laughs> All right, someone's going to join there in just a second. But teachers, you guys are up here on your category. How do you feel about literature? I'm going to pass. It's pass, pass, pass. We're going to pass. We're going to pass it. Here you go, guys. Good luck. In Victoria Aveyard's Red Queen series, what color is used to describe the elite group with superpowers who rule over the Reds? You guys can talk about it. What? Maybe be red? They say red and white top, so I guess it's red. If you don't know, you can take a guess. Red? Silver was the right answer there. It's a good series, but you guys could not get it done. Double pass leads to two wrong answers. You guys are playing a good strategic game here. Teachers, you get to send a student. Who's it going to be? Eric. We want some Eric. Yeah, look at that smile. He knew where he was going. Our first student in detention and our two team captains sitting side by side, and the game continues here. Students, you get the category. Good luck. Sports. Bet. You want to talk about it with Mike here? <laughs> Mike here's like, please, can I talk about it with you? <laughs> Pass or play. Sports. I don't do sports. Need an answer. Play. There we go. <laughs> I love it. In karate, what clothing item is given in different colors to show skill, achievement, and progression? You said what different colors? In karate, what clothing item is given in different colors to show skill, achievement, and progression. You guys can talk about it. What clothing item are we looking at? Item. One second, guys. The bell's coming. Know. Need an answer? I can't pass this, or pass this, right? No, no, you need an answer. You have one second, anything? Is it clothes? Don't they be wearing clothes? clothes? Yeah, I mean, they are wearing clothes, but couldn't give it to you guys. Belts is what we were looking for in karate. The white, the black, the yellow, the whole nine yards. I hate to do this to you, but Logan McKeer, one of you is going to detention. Miss Williams, Miss Ngozi, who's going to do? It's going to be McKeer. McKeer out of the game, leaving our girl Logan by herself. Hold it down. Mike here's like, can you please sign me up for a karate class? I'm telling you, you're going to need that one. All right, here we go. You guys can win it right here. Category, math. Pass. Pass it, pass. Pass it. All right, pass here we go. Logan, hold on, girl. You can do this. Ready? Just me and you right now. Don't worry about everybody watching. What is the next number in this pattern? 10, 100, 1,000. 10,000 was the next one. You couldn't get it done. Logan, you are going to detention. And teachers win the round, bringing them up to 80 points for the day. How about it, Mr. Williams, Mr. Gozi over here, doing well. And Ms. Oshobo, loving that she's out of detention, right? All right, hey, skills are going to be put to the test when we come back from the break. Here's a few commercials to see on the other side. Nicely done, guys. Only one teacher goes into detention. friends on the show today it's the students and teachers from global leadership academy southwest in west philly home of the gators i'm so pumped these guys are back because the students won last time and the teachers are off to a hot start guys let's jump in i cannot wait for you to meet some of these teams um hello my name is eric white i'm an eighth grade scholar at global leadership academy southwest um, my, my favorite subject is math and science, and I also play basketball. My name is Logan Smith. My favorite, my favorite um, subject is ELA. I go to GLASW, and I used to do cheerleading. My name is Makir Walker. I like drawing. My spare time, I'm a seventh grade scholar, and uh, I like math. That's my favorite subject because it's a lot of numbers. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Oshobo. I am a teacher at Global Leadership Academy, and I love educating.
presentation. Hi, my name is Ms. Williams. I teach leadership development at Global Leadership. This is our second time. The scholars won the first time, but the teachers are here for revenge. Hi, my name is Mr. Ngozi. I am the Global Studies teacher at Global Leadership Academy Southwest, and we're here to win. Oh, man, those teachers are out for revenge, and they're off to a great start with 80 points on the board. Hey, I'm surrounded by art. Let's get into art class. <laughs> Here's how the game works. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team's gonna do get their art going first, so that's why Logan's up here joining me. She's gonna be drawing first. In these cards here is a word or phrase with the word inside. You're gonna have to draw to your best of your ability. You're gonna have five seconds to draw for the first time. If you get it right, it's gonna be 30 points on the board. But if you have 10 seconds, you guys are gonna guess your best guess. I mean, whatever you think it could be, whatever Logan's drawing is gonna be what you guys are gonna say that is. If you get it incorrect, I'll give you another chance but the points will decrease. Let's do it. Is it red or is it blue, Logan? She's gonna take the blue card. Don't look at it quite yet. I'm gonna move you back here as you step behind the board and get yourself ready to go. You're gonna have five seconds. Once you open it, go ahead and open your card. See where you're gonna draw. Yeah, go ahead. I like how she's like, I don't wanna rip it. That's good. Is this what you do at Christmas too? You like one thing at a time? I love it. You ready? Okay, I'm gonna take this card back. Good luck. Grab a pen. Five seconds. Makir, Eric, you guys ready to do this? Five seconds on the board. Good luck and draw. She's deep in thought here. Okay, you stop right there, pen down. Okay. Eric, Makir, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. You guys can talk about it and come up with your best answer. Are you ready? 10 seconds starts right now. What did she draw? <laughs> What do you guys think that looks like? A toaster? Not a toaster. We're down to 20 points. Grab the pen again. You can add on to this drawing. Five more seconds when I say good luck and draw. Go ahead. It's getting tougher here. Okay. She's adding on to the original and okay. Stops right there. Goes for something else. You boys ready? 10 seconds, 20 points. Could be yours. What is it? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> A sandwich? No. Is that a sandwich? That's not a sandwich, which moves us into the final round. I'm going to give you 10 seconds here, Logan, to do your best to finish up the drawing. Go ahead and start. 10 seconds. Now, guys, if you get this right, Eric McKeer, you guys can still grab 10 points here for your team. And I'm, she's doing a good job here, adding on to it. Interesting the way she's going with. Stop right there. Pen down. 10 points, boys. You guys ready to do this? 10 seconds on the board. Okay. <laughs> um, One guess. You can, the, oh, you can talk about it. Uh, All right, let's get an answer. Is it TV? No. Is it TV? Eric, you were on board. You said watching up, but what do you do when you watch a movie? You eat popcorn, right? Say, Logan, so. popcorn was the answer. Give these guys a big round of applause. Logan, good job, bro. You can go sit off stage. Let's bring our teachers up here. So no points awarded on that round, but we are going to bring up our next artist here, and that's Miss Williams. So we're going to get you right here behind the board. I'm going to give you the card that wasn't taken. I'm going to let you look at that. You have five seconds to draw. Once you have your thing, you ready to roll on this? Good luck. Pen is uncapped. Mr. Shobo, Mr. Ngozi, good luck, guys. Five seconds. Starts now. Art class is going hard here. Okay, stop right there. Wow, that is, that is something. <laughs> you guys ready? Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about it. Pizza chicken. I first. Pizza chicken. Chicken. Yeah! <laughs> first try and you guys know what that means because they got it on the first try that's 30 points added to their score students i'm gonna hook you guys up right now i'm gonna add on a little extra credit right here let's get a little extra credit going okay i'm gonna ask one extra credit question students we need this one let's do it you're gonna have one minute during commercial break to write down your answers each correct answer will be worth 10 points guys here you go here's your question touch sight hearing smell and taste are the five basic what? All right, I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. When we come back, this game 
continues. How about the teachers? They're back for revenge, and they are bringing it. We'll see you after the break. Today we have the students and teachers from Global Leadership Academy Southwest and West Philly hashtagging it, the revenge game. Teachers are back for more. They lost last time and they're say, back saying, I want to do this thing this round. Before we went to break, I asked both teams extra credit question. Here it was, touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste are the five basic what? Students, what'd you say, Eric? Five senses. Five senses. Love that, Eric. Good job. And teachers? Senses, give them the bell. That's right. That's exactly right. Both sides. All right, guys. Extra credit on both sides is correct. 20 to 120. The bus driver's waiting. Hop aboard, everybody. We're taking a field trip. Today, we're taking a trip to the field trip to Long Beach Island, New Jersey, to test our knowledge of the Jersey Shore. We buzz in, you get it correct, guys. You're gonna win 10 points for your team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Remember, the other side's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal. Who's driving the bus today? That's always what the question is. It's Jen Fedrick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, and she's asking the questions, too. Jen, question number one, you're up. Let's do it. Hey guys, is this your kind of a field trip or what? I love coming to the New Jersey Shore. All right, here is your question. If you have visited Long Beach Island, Cape May, or other shore towns, you've probably seen one of these. What is the name for the structure typically on the coast with a powerful beacon to guide or warn ships? Here we go, Miss Williams. Lighthouse. Lighthouse is right, yeah. On the field trip, Lighthouse is correct. Good job, Jen, on question one. Gosh, I can't believe you're at the beach right now. How about question two? What type of a wooden promenade, typically built on the waterfront or beachfront, is a fixture in many Jersey Shore towns with games, shopping, and even amusement rides? Mr. Ngozi, boardwalk. Boardwalk is right. Students, I hear you guys clicking away over there. You're just a second behind. Mr. Ngozi was a bit quicker. All right, final question here. Teachers are going for the sweep of this round. Jen, last time. Let's do it. Look to the sky for this one. What is the common name for the shorebirds often seen snatching food from the people on the beach or the boardwalk? Logan. Um, is it seagulls? Seagulls is right, Logan. Good job. Getting them up to 30 and just out of that 140 mark. Hey, Jen, that was awesome. Good luck at the beach. I don't know if you're staying down there or not, but we have a game to play. It's 140, it's 30, and it's final exam time. Let's go. Here's your topic. It's Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That means every question has something to do with stars. Three questions on the clock. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. You guys will write down your answers during commercial break. Let's do it. Here's question one. All the Stars by Kendrick Lamar and SZA is the lead single from the soundtrack of what 2018 movie? Question number two, final exam. The star called Polaris is also known as what directional star? Finally, question number three, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. In the TV show Star vs. the Forces of Evil, what is the first name of the Diaz family's son who becomes Star's best friend and then falls in love with her? All right, those are the questions. 60 seconds on the clock. 100 points each. Students are looking to make it two straight games claimed as classroom champions, but the teachers are here to say, not on my watch. Who's going to win this thing? After these commercials, we are going to find out. Don't go anywhere, guys. Hey, you want to be a part of the show? Stick around. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have 
students and teachers from Global Leadership Academy Southwest going head to head. Students versus teachers, scores, teachers 140, students 30. Topic today of the final exam, twinkle, twinkle, little star. That means every question has something to do with the stars. I asked three questions, 100 points each. Let's do it, guys. All the stars by Kendrick Lamar. And SZA is the lead single from the soundtrack of what 2018 movie? Students, we're gonna start with you, Makir. Black Panther. That's right, man. 130 up to 130 points. Good job, teachers. You said. Black Panther. Black Panther, Mr. Nagosi. Good job. 240, 130. The game continues. The star called Polaris is also known as what directional star? Students, if you don't get this right, teachers are walking away with $500. Got to keep the game alive here. Logan. Is it North Star? North Star is right. They keep the game alive. And the hope of doubling up on a single win here. Miss Williams, if you guys win this thing, if you get this right, game's over. You win it. $500 is yours. What'd you say? For the redemption. I said north. That's going to get it done. Teachers, come back on the show and win this thing. In the TV show Star vs. the Forces of Evil, it was Marco was his name. And how about it? It's Principal. It's our third grade teachers. We're doing it all right here at Global. Thanks for joining us today in the classroom. We're going to see you next time with a brand new school. All brand new questions. We'll see you next time right here on the classroom.